当我坐上嚟呢度嗰阵时 ，I feel amazed when I sit on the electric wheelchair. It can climb stairs and slopes. It helps with my mobility a lot. I can go out more often to meet friends. This boosts my confidence. Carol Ng suffered from polio and has a curved spine. An injury from a fall three years ago means she must use an electric wheelchair to get around. Six months ago, she was invited by the University of Science and Technology to compete in cybathlon in Zurich, the world's first bionic Olympics. The event saw disabled athletes using assistive devices in various competitions. Ms. Ng piloted an electric wheelchair developed by the university's students. She raced against 11 electric wheelchair users in an obstacle course competition. She finished second to win a silver medal. 拎到銀牌就梗係開心啦 ！I felt happy winning a silver medal as it shows our efforts paid off. But it was also a pity as I was just a few seconds slower than the winner. I led the race from the start, but I got nervous near the finish line. I paid too much attention to the Swiss team. As I was distracted, we eventually lost to them. The university's wheelchair features an automatic leveling system to keep the user upright on slanted surfaces. When the wheelchair is on stairs or slopes, its sensors detect the gradient and adjust the seat angle to maintain balance. Its wheels are wrapped in rubber tracks, allowing the wheelchair to navigate rugged terrain and stairs. From design to assembly, the wheelchair was built entirely by the students. They also safety tested it. Giving them a new perspective on the disabled's mobility. At first, we didn't think that,、um, like when we climb on the slopes and we open the door and close the door, that will、uh, make such a difficulty to a disabled person because we ourselves have long arms or legs and we can reach the door easily. But for Carol, when she tries on it. We discover that she has the difficulty on reaching the door to close the door and to climb down the slope. So we have to change the design. The students made the wheelchair during their summer break, doing trial runs and modifying the design. They invited Ms. Ng to their school for weekly practice sessions a month before the competition. The whole project lasted eight months. We really try to apply the engineering knowledge. From our textbook into practical experiences, we can show that our Hong Kong students are capable to compete with other international students as well as other international companies. So I think it's kind of encouragement for the Hong Kong students to get more involved in the technical industry to contribute and help、uh, the world. The Cybathlon is an international competition promoting the use of robotics by the disabled. The bionic assistive devices used by contestants include prostheses and brain-computer interfaces. It is held every four years. The next event will again be in Zurich in 2020. Although the students will graduate soon, they hope their younger peers will succeed them in taking part in the event and making high-tech inventions to improve the disabled's quality of life. They have applied for a patent for their design and plan to launch an improved version by the end of this year. They hope to make the wheelchair available to the public by the middle of next year. The production cost of the, the power wheelchair that we were using、um, for the competition was about twenty-five thousand Hong Kong dollars. We really hope to see one day we can make it a power wheelchair. Which is lower price in order for them to enjoy our technologies.